Hello everyone, Brian from Sui Generis Brewing here, and it is Sunday, May 14th, so happy Mother's Day to any mothers out there. It's been eight days since the last video, and to say that things have changed a little since then would be quite the understatement. You might remember this hop plant. Uh, this is the one I took cuttings from about a month ago, and which in the last video uh, had vines on it that were maybe about that long, had one or two leaves. It's now a bush. Uh, it, it grew amazingly well over the past week, and I, I haven't even given it fertilizer yet. It's also time to plant those hops that I grew from the cuttings that I prepared in a couple videos ago. Uh, they've rooted in nicely, so they're ready to plant. I have six of those, so I'm going to be planting four of them on the side of the house here, two per well. And I'm going to take the last two into the back, where I'm going to try and hide them somewhere where if I'm lucky the goats won't find them, and I might be able to get sort of a, a, a stealth hop harvest out of those, uh, if I'm lucky. So I've already run the lines today. I'm going to show you how I did this in a second. I'm trying something new this year. Uh, and then we'll get on to actually planting the hops. And I think I'll round out the end of the video by just showing you quickly the barley, which has done equally well over the past week. So I've had problems in the past with my hops where the lines that I run for the hops to climb on sort of rot near down by the soil. And so they break and the bottom of the plant is then waving loose in the wind. And while it doesn't really affect the growth of the plants, it does make processing them and dealing with them a little unwieldy. So this is a suggestion I got from a real hop farmer, Grant over at the hop yard. And you can see here that I have a peg in the ground to which I've attached some binder twine. Now normally you don't like to put binder twine in the sun because it really breaks down uh, with UV, but this is just near the ground. It's protected by the foliage and hopefully will be fine for the year. And the plants can then climb the jute, uh, which is resistant to the UV, but prone to rotting and hopefully that combination will allow these to grow well. For this plant here I'm going to pick my four favorite runners and I'm going to start training them and as soon as they start to train properly I'm going to cut back the rest of this because all of this foliage is just asking for some downy mildew which this variety of hops is particularly sensitive to. All right, so I've got uh, two binds trained per line. Hopefully this will give me a good yield. And as soon as I'm happy with the growth of these, I'll be clearing out everything else on the bottom uh, just to try and protect this plant from mildew. At that point, I'll also hit it with a bit of fertilizer just to ensure that it has the nutrients it needs to grow. So that's done. Let's get the other plants put in. So here we are, the hot plants are in, they're starting to be trained, and then of course here's our mother plant which we hope is going to give us a huge yield this year. Of course they've got quite a ways to go before they make it to the roof of the house, 
uh, but that height should give us some pretty decent hop plants and some pretty decent hop yields. So here we are in the barley yard. As you can see, the barley is coming up quite nicely. Uh, more than double what it was the last time I showed you. You'll also notice that the uh, two varieties, which are separated by this white post here, seem to be growing a little differently. The ones on the right here seem to be growing two to three times faster than the ones on the left. Now, I don't know if that's because of the variety or if maybe there's some differences in the soil or the moisture level there, but they're doing quite well. The rest of the garden's also coming in nicely. If we zoom in up by the road here, you can see we've got some hot pepper plants, the sweet peppers planted. Uh, the empty holes will all be corn. And if we come in a little bit closer to us here, we've got some broccoli and cauliflower planted. And I know right now it seems like a sea of plastic and just a small amount of plants, but this will pretty soon be all green and you'll hardly be able to see the ground cloth. Of course, the most important part of the garden is over here. These are all tomatoes. But that's enough of the garden. Let's go uh, plant our stealth hops. <clears throat> so uh, speaking of goats, here's our girls. Uh, the one here is Grace in front and she is very pregnant right now as is little Zelda on the right over here. They've already seen the hot plants and they're coming for them. Here are some of our newer friends. I don't know how well you can see them. But uh, in there, if we'll adjust, are some baby ducks. They don't seem to be too fond of us today, so we'll just leave them be. Now when it comes to these stealth hops, these are the guys we really need to worry about. These are the bucks, and the bucks have free range in the back. So uh, these are the troublemakers who might make a snack of my hop plants. But let's go see if we can't escape them and go find a good place to put these. So uh, I'm just going to pause here for a second. So in nature, hop plants actually like to climb trees. And here we have this nice little stand of black walnuts. You can see they're just starting to leaf in. So I'm going to go plant these at the base of one of the black walnuts and see if we won't get them to grow up the tree. So here we are, we're in some pretty dense brush and I'm really hoping that this will help keep the goats away. Got a nice black walnut here, good coarse skin for the hop plants to grab a hold of, and it's facing south, so they should get some decent sun, at least until the trees behind us here start leafing in. So I really hope this is the spot for them, but it may end up just being a snack for the goats. But let's get planting. So that's everything for today. I think we're off to a good start this year. The hops are growing strong, the new hops are planted, the barley is doing well and growing quite strongly. We've got these hops stealth planted here. Hopefully they'll have a chance to take off and the goats won't find them. And uh, until next time, I'm Brian and uh, thanks for joining me.